Hi, this is the National Weather Service office in Medford, Oregon, and we have a precipitation and forecast update for you this morning. And last time we did a video like this, we talked about, you know, how we'd been dry for a while and we were uh, anticipating some precipitation around the beginning of the second week in December. And just want to emphasize again how important uh, precipitation is for our forecast area for December because on average it's it's uh, the wettest month of the year for much of our forecast area in southern Oregon and northern California. And given the multi-year drought uh, this December it could be especially important. So we're going to uh, transition this time we're going to talk a little bit about the forecast first, and then we'll go into, you know, how we're doing precipitation-wise right now. But uh, we talked about the pattern shift around December 5th through 7th, and it still looks like that's going to happen here. Uh, basically, we're going to shift from a very stagnant, stable air mass, where in the valleys we've had the fog and uh, very low visibility, some drizzle, for days and days, and the mountains have been mostly sunny and warm, that kind of inversion type situation, well, that's going to be mixed up now, and uh, that stagnant air will leave us. It'll be uh, freshened up by new air masses, courtesy of some fronts moving through the forecast area. So we're shifting to valley rain chances and mountain snow. And we'll, we'll mention that snow levels will decrease uh, later this week, and uh, so snow levels uh, could could lower, but initially we're looking at mainly mountain snow. And I want to emphasize a few things. So now is the time to kind of stay tuned to mountain pass forecasts. Make sure you have a winter safety kit. We're going to go over that briefly now, and I'll, I'll give you an example of Siskiyou Summit forecast for now so we can kind of take a peek at the trends, and we'll talk a little bit about the, the weather systems that are on the horizon. So for your safety kit, someone in the office has created a good graphic here that shows kind of just the, the good items to have in your car, especially if you plan on traveling over mountain passes during the winter. So take a peek at these, try to, try to gather them up. It's a good time to do that before we have some uh, significant snowfall over the mountains. And we'll just take a peek now at that uh, forecast over uh, Siskiyou Summit. So if you go to our webpage here, you go towards the bottom and you can find all the mountain pass forecasts. We've kind of collected them there, uh, the icon towards the bottom. Click on that. And probably the most highly traveled uh, mountain pass in the forecast area is Siskiyou Summit on Interstate 5. It's the highest point on Interstate 5 in the, on the entire West Coast, and they can get some significant weather. So we're going to click on that. And this is the, the point forecast that's located closest to Siskiyou Summit. Here you can see where the green square is, uh, where that location is around I-5. And the elevation for this forecast point is about 4,400, so pretty feet, so pretty close to the elevation of that uh, summit. So as you look at this forecast, you can see kind of the temperatures uh, decreasing towards the middle to end of the week. So mainly rain chances initially on this pass, and then transitioning towards rain, snow, and then snow by Thursday. And you'll note that you know, the, the forecasts do have snow levels, so you can see how high above the past, the snow levels are forecast here, 6,300 feet Wednesday, and then dipping down. Once you stop seeing the snow levels mentioned, it means it's uh, close to the surface already. So snow levels dropping Wednesday night mainly. Okay, we'll go back to the presentation here and want to note the three systems on the horizon. Uh, Monday and then um, late in the week, kind of Thursday, Friday time frame, and then the next weekend. So Monday 
generally light precipitation, snow levels will be high, so not expecting a lot of impact with this. System late in the week will be colder and lower snow levels, but not a lot of precipitation still, but, uh, but we'll be watching how low those snow levels get and could get down you know, close to, close to potentially valley floors uh, in the weekend or late week. And then uh, Sunday is, looks like the wettest system. So for that, just to give you an idea on how wet, well, we have about a 30% chance of a half inch of rain in Medford. So a half inch of rain is significant for Medford, and there's a 30% chance there uh, next Sunday. So that's a week out, but gives you an idea on some significant precipitation potentially, and snow levels will be low, so mountains will be getting snow with that system as well. So that active pattern looks like it'll continue into week two as well. So it doesn't look like kind of just one system and done. Looks like we'll go for a while. Now, so what does all this mean? Does this mean we're just going to now all of a sudden erase the drought because we had some weather systems in December? Certainly not. Uh, here is the, here are the different climate sites across our forecast area and the precipitation since October 1st and percent of normal. So we're just going to start at North Bend. So on, along the coast in Oregon, uh, you can see the green bar represents how much precipitation we've observed since October 1st, and the blue bar is the normal precipitation since October 1st, uh, which is our water year. And they're very close together, right? The, so we're about 98% of normal, slightly below normal. Moving to Roseburg, the bars are significantly different. And that's because we are much below normal for precipitation there since October 1st. Moving to Medford, much closer, but still now trending slightly below normal. Move to Klamath Falls, uh, a little above normal, about 24% above normal. Mount Shasta City, because of a lot of heavy precipitation in October generally, um, and uh, portions of November, 144% uh, of normal, or that just means 44% above normal for Mount Shasta City. And then moving towards Alturas, 83% of normal. So that's how you read these graphs. Uh, we hope to have these kind of consistent for you on our website um, uh, pretty soon. So you can take a look at them whenever you like. And the next charts, these represent how much progress we have towards improvement in the drought. We have a long way to go, of course. Basically, these green parts of the gauges represent the precipitation totals needed by April 1st to potentially end the drought. Now, drought isn't going to be ended just because we get a certain amount of precipitation. It's much more complex uh, in terms of reservoir storage and you know, a lot of other conditions on the ground are looked at to end drought. But this gives you kind of a rough idea on the, our progress, where we are in relationship to the totals needed to end the drought. So you can see as we head towards the green, that's, that's where we're aiming for by April 1st. But again, long way to go before we get there. That's our precipitation and forecast update. Thanks for your time. Have a good day.